Hi, in this tutorial, we are going to integrate API stacks, phone number verification using OTP service inside an AppGiver app. To start with, I've logged into my API stack account. Uh, if you're using API stack for the first time, you can go to Marketplace and click on phone number verification using OTP service and click on install and the service will be installed in your services tab. Once it is installed, you can go to no code platforms and you can see integration steps for AppGiver. To speed up the process, what I've done is that I've created an app with two screens. The first screen where there is an input box called phone number, which is attached to a page variable, which is phone number, which is of type number, right? You can define variables here, you can go to page variable and phone number is defined here. The second page is a verify OTP page, which essentially again has a input box and a verify OTP button. Here, for this page, we have a page parameter which is passed from login screen to verify OTP screen called request ID and a page variable called OTP which is associated with the input box that is available here. Let's start integrating. So to start with, uh, we'll go to login page. Uh, let's click on save. Uh, let's go to login page. Uh, click on send OTP and start our flow. So to start with, we'll show, let's say a spinner. Uh, which is here and then let's create a JavaScript block which is here and connect here. Uh, let's call this as send OTP, right? Double click on it and you will see an input which is gonna be a phone number input which we will connect it to the page variable phone number, right? Now, come here and you will see that there's a code block available for send OTP, which we'll just copy and paste it. Now the only thing you have to be careful about is uh, it's automatically, your API key is automatically filled up, which is this uh, in your code snippet, so you don't have to really worry about anything. Uh, now the last bit is we have to remove result and there are two things that we are re re responding with. One is success, which is a true false value, uh, which is gonna be a required um, required property. Uh, the another way, one is request ID, which is uh, shoot, which request ID, which is gonna be a text, which is not required, and error, which is again going to be a text. And that's it, you're done. Update, right? Now, uh, based on this, what you're going to do is you're going to have an if else condition, which is basically, if you double click, oh sorry, uh, if you click on the condition, uh, you can create a formula, which is output from the another node and the send OTP node. You will just check for the success of the response. If it's successful, uh, let's go with not successful rate, which is gonna be height spinner, and then possibly we'll show an alert. Uh, in case of success, we'll hide the spinner and then uh, we will navigate to a new page, which is going to be verify OTP page. And then the request ID parameter is going to be the formula, which is going to be output of the another node and you will select the request ID. This is it. Uh, you're done with integrating send OTP flow inside your app, give it app. Thank you.